A temporary memorial next to Highland Park City Hall recognizes the seven victims lost during the Independence Day mass shooting last year. Tonight, City Council discussed the creation of a permanent memorial. Um, our hearts continue to ache for the seven victims and the survivors. I can't even look at you, I'm sorry. <laughs> the survivors of the Highland Park shooting. Their families who are suffering without them or along with them as they navigate new lives forever marked by violence. Thank you for being here. The mayor of Highland Park, Nancy Rotering, emotional as she spoke about the victims and survivors of the 4th of July parade mass shooting during a city council meeting Monday night. They remind us of the fragility and the vulnerability of life. The city will be looking to the Department of Justice, Office of Crime, the community and survivors of the tragedy to create a permanent memorial. Right now, a temporary memorial with a small plaque for each of the seven victims sits in the Rose Garden at City Hall. City Council wants a dedicated location for community members to be able to come and grieve the tragedy, bring flowers, and reflect when they need to. Highland Park leaders are bringing on a victim advocate and looking to the police department's social worker to assist with communicating with families through the process, pledging to continue communication with those who want it. You cannot underscore the importance of the regular communication um, with victims' families, with survivors. These are individuals that were present on the 4th of July that may have been injured. Many are still uh, recovering from their physical injuries, and thousands of people people who are also um, victims and, and dealing with emotional trauma as well. The process of creating a permanent memorial will take several years and until it's completed, the temporary memorial will stay here at City Hall so that the community has a place to come and reflect. Reporting in Highland Park, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News.